Well, good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. Today's questions for the cards. I want to take a look at Aileen Cannon. Um, she, of course, is the judge in the federal documents case against Donald Trump. And she has recently decided to indefinitely postpone Trump's trial uh, for keeping classified documents. And from what I can gather from every legal scholar or expert that I have listened to in the past few days is that there is no comprehensible reason for her to be doing. The job of judges is to make decisions on the law and she apparently is completely flummoxed by this. Now, she is a very inexperienced judge, doesn't have a lot of criminal trials. It's pretty obvious that she is just in over her head. Like she, the nicest thing you can say about her is that she's incompetent. There's a possibility that she's got her thumb on the scale and that she is not acting in a judicial manner but in very much a partisan manner. So I do want to take a look at this. And one of my questions is, you know, is is Jack Smith going to find the grounds where he can ask for a recusal of this non-judging judge? So once again, we are using my old standby one World Tarot, Lena Rodriguez, Sienna Rose. Lovely deck. I absolutely uh, love it. And let's see what we've got. Just going to do a standard Celtic cross on this one. Signifier. We have the star in a reverse position. And this is a card that's about like despair and disconnection and coming in. Get, considering the number of grievous errors that she has made in the past six or eight months. It is no doubt that she's feeling uh, despair and disconnected. She has managed to squander any um, status or cachet that she might have enjoyed as a federal judge because she just comes off more and more like a clown every time she opens her mouth. And this is Crossed by the sun, also in a reverse position. This is a card that's about pessimism. When it's reversed, it's about being over enthusiastic and uh, conceited. And once again, this idea of depression and despair goes with it. So I think she's very unhappy at how things are turning out. I mean, she has become a uh, laughing stock of the American legal system and. Um, well, I'll put it this way. It's a good thing she's on the bench because with this performance, her unlikely to ever get promoted. And in the past, we have the Two of Wands, also in a reverse position. And this is a card that's about powerlessness and disruption. And she does have a lot of power, but she certainly is not feeling it because... I mean, she was so publicly chided by the, what was it, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeal uh, on some of her previous things with, you know, the special master and that sort of stuff where they just like, you've got no reason to rule on these grounds and just stop it. Like, and now she's got all these backups of motions, many of which, from what I understand, experienced judges would have just tossed. I mean, they're ridiculous arguments that are coming up that are just country and law, and they just would have been dismissed out of hand almost immediately. And then, of course, some would have gone over for research and consideration as the judge takes a look at it. But she is just not controlling this courtroom at all. And one wonders how much longer Jack Smith is going to wait or if he is just he's just waiting for the right time to pull the trigger to have her recused. In the near future, we have the seven of pentacles, pentacles, 
Again, we have a reverse card here, and this is about lack of planning. This lack of planning keeps coming up. It was there in the Two of Wands in a reverse position, and now we have it in the Seven of Pentacles. So both in the past and the future, we're not seeing a lot of forward thought. This is nothing strategic here. She's just overwhelmed. That's what she is. Now, in the sky of the reading, which is the overarching kind of goals or objectives or what we're headed for, we have the Hermit in a reverse position. And this is a card about isolation withdrawal. Well, she is certainly isolated and withdrawn. She has lost any respect that she would have ever had within the legal community. And I don't think she's practiced. I think there's only three federal judges in the court, courthouse that she is working out. Of. So, I mean, she has that to start with. She is not in a big kind of jurisdiction where she's going to have a lot of other colleagues that she can confer with. And my understanding is that one of the senior judges there who under normal circumstances would be somebody that you would go to and like, you know, kind of suss things out and where I might go for this is is basically not talking to her. It's just washed her hands of her. It's like, so apparently she doesn't listen very well. Foundation of the reading. What's holding it up? What's the underlying energy? What's generating this? We have the six of cups in a reverse position. This is a card that's about the past. Of course, the past was about powerlessness and disruption. So um, we have someone here who is just, she's, it's also a card about like, you know, the inner child or looking into things. This is an individual who is just so out of her depth and her level of legal incompetence is on display for everybody to see and she doesn't know how to get out from underneath it. Message from Spirit. We have the World card in a reverse position. This is a card that's about the lack of closure, that nothing's coming together. There's nothing coming so you can move on to the next phase. It's incomplete. There's delays. Well, this is all she's done. She's delayed, 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 which is just playing into Donald Trump's hands. That's how he likes to handle legal cases. And she is just leaving this pile of unfinished business stacked up on the phone. And now she, she can't even set a court date because she's got herself so behind in her work. Like I said, this is someone who is just horribly overwhelmed. In the environment, people around her, magician, in a reverse position. My goodness, we've had a lot of reversals in this reading. The magician, when he is reversed, is indicating trickery, manipulation, indecision, right? That sort of stuff. But here's the question, right? So far, it looks just like her incompetence and you know the fact that she's overwhelmed and that she's inexperienced and she doesn't know what to do with this and here we have this first indication in the environment that there's somebody pulling strings that there's trickery and manipulation involved in here we'll have to see but there's a hint another reverse card queen of pentacles in a reverse position in the hopes and fears Queen of Pentacles, when she's reversed, is ungrounded and disorganized and doesn't have any ideas. And this, again, this is her fear. And, you know, it's also Donald Trump's hope. But it's her fear is that her disorganization and um, lack of ideas and how no grounded energy. She's not running it in a... a court-like manner or productive manner. She's just kind of spinning her wheels. And the final outcome here, we have the full card in reverse. This is card about inexperience, risk, and foolishness. Just, you know, plain foolishness. Back to that question, we only have one hint that there may be some other people that are weighing in on this in that environment card with the magician reversed, but the rest of it is all talking about being powerlessness, 
uh, being ungrounded, about being depressed, having a lack of faith, being disconnected, being frustrated, all that sort of stuff. It all kind of comes down along that way. I think the majority of this problem has got to do with the fact that she just doesn't know what she's doing and is too proud to find out what she needs to do. And in the shadow card for this reading, we have the King of Wands, also in a reverse position. Holy cow, everything I have pulled, all 11 cards have been reversed. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. I always have a mix, but here everything is then, well, a good idea to show that this whole trial is kind of upside down and backwards. King of Wands, or upset, is uh, ineffective and a bit hot-tempered and a bit of a dictator. This woman has an ego the size of all outdoors and she does not take advice from other people. And uh, she's another one of these people that she's the smartest person in the room, just ask her. What can I say? So are we ever going to see this trial? Probably not before the election, but things could happen. I don't think these delays are something that, at least my understanding, is something that Jack Smith can use to have a recused from the case. But I strongly suspect, I mean, he's a very competent lawyer and he recognizes somebody who's out of her depth and he's just waiting for the fatal error and then he will spring and have her removed from the case. But right now, it's hurry up and wait. And that's the reading for today. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.